Today, we're actually doing something really cool. We're gonna recreate classic Halloween candy for dogs. I know, I can already hear you now. Dogs can't have candy. They definitely can't have chocolate. But the good news is, I'm a pet chef, and this is a bakery for dogs, so if anybody can pull it off, it's me. And look, candy is great, but one of the fun things about Halloween is actually how you get the candy going trick-or-treating. So none of this would be complete unless we build an entire town for dogs to trick-or-treat. So we're gonna do just that, but I gotta tell you, it's already taken us days just to assemble these things, and it was expensive, but it's gonna be worth it because look at these things. They're like customized tiny homes for dogs. I mean, look, look at this. This tiny home even has a second floor. I don't wanna call them Reese's Peanut Butter Cups because they're for dogs. Dogs. I do know a very special dog named Ricky, so I think I'll call it Ricky's Peanut Butter Puffs. <laughs> I'm the chef, I can come up with whatever name I want. And that's not the only candy I wanna make. I wanna make Kit Kat bars, we'll call them Kitty Cat bars. And we're gonna make other ones too, like gummy bears, a Halloween cake for dogs. Let's jump to the bakery and get to work. Take a bite out of that, tell me what's in it. Mmm, it's good. That is really good. I mean, dogs should be able to eat these. All right. Let's make one. It is one of the best candies, in my opinion. It's also one of the most simple, because it's legit just chocolate and peanut butter, right? Yep. Are you, did you eat the whole thing? I did. It was just, <laughs> you're supposed to deconstruct it, not, not destroy it. Yeah, I got it, it's locked in. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Chocolate is one of the main ingredients, but dogs can't eat chocolate. Do not feed your dog chocolate, but they can eat carob. And this is what we use a lot at the bakery. So we can put a base of carob down, then, we're gonna do our base of peanut butter. Hold on, wait. We gotta make sure this is dog friendly. You ready? <laughs> oh, good boy. Okay, and then for the final step, we'll put another layer of carrot. That is gonna turn out perfect. Flip, check this out. That's gonna be good, huh? We're setting the neighborhood up at my store, the dog bakery. What's nice about that is I can clear a space and make sure we have the room to do it. Okay, I definitely know that the sod was a good purchase. It just really already pulls this together. <laughs> I hope we don't have any accidents on the grass. All right, here's how we're gonna pull this off today. We have a street team that's working on building the entire neighborhood, assembling the dog houses, doing everything we need for a trick-or-treat neighborhood for dogs to come together. And then we also have the treat team, and they're gonna help me pull off all these treats. Outside of my love for candy and for dogs, there's actually a reason I'm doing this. There's a very special dog that I know named Willy Wonka. No joke, I, did, I didn't make that up. That's her name, it's Willy Wonka. And I really want to pull all of this off specifically for her. Willy Wonka was born with two deformed front legs, making it a real struggle for her to stand and walk upright. This led to her getting bullied. In a shelter, a situation like this can be detrimental. At this point, it seemed like there was no hope. But thank goodness, Deity Animal Rescue stepped in and a foster mom said, I'll help. You see, most people said Willy Wonka is a lost cause. But Christine said, I won't accept that. Every dog deserves love and the chance and the opportunity to be the best that they can. And thank goodness she had a foster sister, Puka, to teach her some of the ways, it was very gentle on her, and even a brother named Larry, yep, he's a tortoise. But this oddball mix right here, in addition to her dad and her foster mom that just would not give up, has helped her make tremendous progress. We're gonna let her trick or treat, and I'm hoping that at this point, she'll actually be able to walk down the trick or treat neighborhood. Stay tuned for that, but right now, we still have a lot to do to be able to pull all of this off for Willy Wonka. Oh, okay. Are they done? I'm good, yeah. Okay. Pop what? them out here. All right, let's see. Oh, look at these. Okay, so that is the ones that we made. Here is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Mmm, look at that. That peanut butter is nice and creamy. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to help me with the other treats? Sure. We need to make gummy bears. Ooh, that sounds fun. Okay, I bet. What, uh, what do we got? What are we working on here? Okay, so you said you wanted to make some kitty cats. Yeah, which, so, which is Kit Kat. Kit Kat. But, you know, dogs love kitty cats. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying dogs should eat kitty cats. I'm just saying. What we need to do is we're going to do one layer of carob. Okay. Let that sit. While that's sitting, we're going to make teeny tiny little thin strips of uh, peanut butter cookies. That's perfect. For the wafer to be the middle layer, and then we'll cover it back up with carob. Yeah, that's perfect because. Okay, look at that. I don't know if you can see in there, but is there peanut butter in there? I think they're wafer cookies. The best candy is very simple, right? Milk, chocolate, and wafers. Okay, I'll let you work on that. I'll get back to the street team. Okay, great. All right. So 
these have been in the freezer now for about 20 minutes. So we're gonna see how these turn out. These are the kitty cat bars. I'm gonna do a little something here. If we're gonna be handing out trick or treat candy, we gotta have a perfection. So I'm gonna trim off some of these edges here. Look at that. Original Kit Kat bar. Our Kit Kat bar. That is pretty amazing. But the true test comes down to how it tastes. Uh, just break me off a piece of that kitty cat bar. Look at that, you can see the wafers in there. Okay, let's test it out. Wow. Oh, the dog's gonna be happy, hold on. Try a piece of the original. Original? Yeah, okay, now try a piece of this. I wanna show you guys so you know I'm not kidding. What do you think? Wait, that's the original, right? No, the original's over here. That was, that, yeah. That was the original. This one's pretty, that's pretty good. I would have no idea though. That's actually really good. That's yeah. legit. Good. The mansion is looking solid. We've got the street laid out. We've got all the sod laid out. Now we just gotta bring in the houses. Oh man, that street team is coming together great. All right, I gotta jump back in the bakery and see how I can help. I mean, who doesn't love gummy bears? Mmm. They're so good. Can't tell you how many road trips I've had where I've made myself sick to my stomach eating gummy bears. Now I've tasked Umi with finding something that is healthy and delicious for dogs that we can fill these molds with. So I bought these gummy bear molds right here. Okay. So this is what you think will make a solid gummy bear? Yes, Are I do. you certain this will work? Mm. <laughs> In theory, if we just keep it cold, they don't have to be shelf stable. We can make this work. Yes. Okay, I think tell me so. tell me what she came up with. So this is beef stock and gelatin. I think this could work. Uh, if you can finish those up for me, let's throw them in the freezer and then I'll come back for the finished product then. Let's, let's see. Let's All right. see. Alright, I'm gonna go check with the street team and I'll let you keep working on that. Alright, okay. got it. Are these, uh, what, uh, the, you put them in here? Mm, yeah, hold okay. on, one sec. Okay. Grab them. Take your time, take your time. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this. Uh, well done, by the way. Thank you. That's amazing. I cannot wait for the dogs to try these. Well done. All right, let's get these out there. Okay. Okay, Kelly hasn't seen the town at all. She's been working so hard in the bakery, so I want to completely surprise her. You watch all the shows on TV where they do the big reveals. Uh -huh. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, check it out. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Wow, the dogs are going to love this. You know, dogs sometimes they can go, they can speed a little too fast. But check this out. Slow down, Fido. I mean, you gotta have all the. It's a neighborhood. You gotta have all these things. You gotta ch change it to change it to go. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe this is a return. All right. Well, you know what? Oh, oh, there oh, it is. oh, oh. No, no. <laughs> I have one more thing that I want to show you that I think will make this thing perfect. I thought that was trash in your car. I'm glad I didn't throw it away. Yeah, I'm going. Okay, peel that off. Oh! Although I'm a little surprised it doesn't say Kelly. Oh, <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, hold this. We gotta find a street sign. There, that'll work perfect. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm just All gonna right, stand let's go. here All day. Yeah, let's go get the treats. Come okay. On. All right, so these are some of my favorite trick-or-treat items because they are limited edition hand-baked by us here at the Dog Bakery. We ship them all over the nation, but today we're gonna be right in the trick-or-treat neighborhood. Look at this. We've got a Halloween pumpkin cake. It's a jack-o'-lantern. We've got Day of the Dead cookies. So cool. It wouldn't be complete without Franken-Dog. Here, I want to make this a full bowl. Tell you why. We're going to put this in the neighborhood and check this out. That house that only lets you have one treat, you're just supposed to take one. It's on the honor system. The houses are built, the streets are laid, and the treats are made. And because I'm the mayor of Dogtown, it's time to cut the ribbon so we can get this trick or treat started. Okay, I want you to do something for me. I want you to cross your fingers. 
because this is the moment where we see if Willy Wonka really loves what we all built for her. Now while the town is spooky, we're gonna pull back so we don't actually spook Willy Wonka and just let her explore. I hope she loves it. Oh, what's that? Backbone. What is that? What's that? Here, what's this? <laughs> oh, and she's walking so good. Okay, baby shark, what do you think? Oh, good girl. She's doing so good. And she's grown so much. So much. Yeah. She's about 50 pounds. 50 pounds now? Oh, I take not a, a break baby there. Anymore. All right, so not these, because that's the human ones. Uh, <laughs> hey, you should trade. <laughs> what is that? Oh, amazing! <laughs> I think she amazing. likes it. I think you're right, Mom. And by the looks of it, I'd say she loves it. And right now, my heart is filled with gratitude to you and to everybody else that helped put the first ever entire town built just for dogs to trick or treat. And for her. Where in the past she's been bullied, now she's loved. Hey, and now I think it's time to bring her sister and her brother in and a bunch of other friends and let all the dogs and tortoise trick or treat. Okay, Flip, you ready? Sit. Okay. Get it. All right, now that's one happy trick-or-treating dog right there. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, no. It's supposed to be, please take one. You're the best little trick-or-treater. Oh, hi. Oh, she's so small. Mmm, gummy bears. Trick-or-treating without a costume. A hamburger? Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is amazing. So, I found out from his mom, the turtles love pumpkin. I tell you what, it's like I'm giving out candy this week. Last week I was giving out iPhone 11s. So go watch that video of me giving out iPhone 11s to people who adopt a dog so that you can find out how to win an iPhone 11. Just click right up there to watch that video and I'll also put the link in the description below. We sell out fast on a lot of these custom items because we hand make them all right here in the bakery. But there might be some left. Go to thedogbakery.com to check it out. And I'll put a link down below you should sign up for so you'll be the first to know when these special items come out. It's called my birthday club. You also get special things when it's your dog's birthday. And I want everyone to go follow Willy Wonka and her entire family's Instagram. And remember, Willy Wonka is available for adoption, but it's going to take someone that is very capable of helping her with her special needs. If you believe you're that person, then message her mom on her Instagram account.